Hi again, everyone. This video is sponsored by Contribution from Sierra, and here's her story. Dear Ali, I'm sending this letter with Contribution and with an audio file. Unfortunately, the audio file didn't work, but I have a transcript. I can't thank you enough for all your help. My life has changed so much since I first sent you a letter back in December. My life was in pieces, and I couldn't make heads nor tails of why I had made the choices that led to so much chaos in my life. Your commentary cut to the heart of the issue, and I have difficulty expressing my gratitude fully. There was a family crisis that required me to travel to a different state where my mother happened to live. I knew this would expose me to her abuse once again, but I also knew that this state was a one-party consent state for recording conversations. You can probably see where this is going. I have bizarre fears sometimes, like the fear that she really wasn't as bad as I remembered. But this time I wanted to be ready. Sure enough, she bullied me into letting her drive me around and use it as an opportunity to abuse me every damn time. It took about 40 minutes for the first gaslighting abusive comment. She didn't notice that she was nearly out of gas. Guess whose fault it was. I was only around her for 24 hours, but goddamn, she did not disappoint. It escalated throughout the day, and I ended up with about six hours of abuse recorded from her. I will send you the other recordings another time, but I wanted to send you the recording of the last conversation I will likely ever have with her. I really stood up to her, and that wouldn't have been possible without your channel. I have decided not to edit the recording, so there are real names in it, including mine. I have previously gone by Astrid, as you know. I am excited to I am excited to send you this right after your video is about borderlines because she is a total borderline narc. It's a 50-minute recording that took place in a crowded restaurant at 2 in the afternoon. Apropos of nothing, I have also attached a transcript because certain portions may be hard to hear. She keeps talking about Rick, her ex, and my stepdad. Greg, my father, who enabled the woman who brought the golden child into my life, and Justin, a significant ex-boyfriend of mine. There are some minor characters, too. Nothing is ever her fault. She has no idea why we have a bad relationship. She never did anything to hurt me, and she has no idea why I feel differently. What's truly incredible about this recording is the way, at the end, she almost tells the truth. She admits she has difficulty distinguishing fact from my life from the story of my life. She also at one point actually complains that everyone gets to be the victim except her. It was really hard to keep a straight face, but for once I just called her out on her shit and instead of being reactive to the person in front of her, she just kept mashing my emotional buttons as hard as possible. I'm going no contact finally. This was the conversation I needed to see that she will never change, that she never cared about me, and that I cannot have her in my life anymore. Thank you again, and I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. Sincerely, Sierra, a.k.a. Astrid. And on to the transcript. Okay, conversation starts. Sierra, I am happy that you feel like you came home. That's good. You really helped M by alerting me to the situation. Mother. Well, I just don't want you to destroy my family. <laughs> right, right to the blame. Huh? I just don't, she just don't want you to destroy the family. Right, right to the top, right there, huh? Sierra, what makes you think I'm capable of that or that I want to do that? Mother, the threats last night. Sierra, I didn't make any threats. Mother, yeah, you did. Sierra, okay. Mother, it says two hours and three minutes. Here it says turn left on 87. Sierra, that's what MapQuest is for. Mother, I just think that you're doing exactly what I was worried about, which is breezing in here and judging them, you know? They've raised kids. They're not evil people. Well, you know what? Why is mom laying judgment on what you're doing? Okay, that's what narcissists love to do. They love to come in and tell you what you're doing, what you're thinking, what your motivations are. No, that's usually them projecting what their motivations would be in the same situation. 
Sierra, I didn't say they were evil people. Do you know how many CPS reports I make on a regular basis? A lot. It doesn't automatically destroy the family. It usually just hooks them up with a social worker who can make sure they all have the support they need. But I don't think it's going to come to that because I'm very persuasive. Mother, they're really young parents. They don't know what they're doing. Sierra, yes. Mother, they don't know. I think they are basically all aware that there's something going on. Sierra, yeah, they are. That's why I think they'll be receptive to what I have to say. I just need to explain it to them. Mother, you still haven't explained why you think I'm paranoid. Did that come from R? Sierra laughs. You just made my point for me. Mother, no, I didn't. Sierra, yes, you did. And she did because her, your, your mother is just showing her paranoia here. Mother, because you used to say shit like that to me all the time, that's why I'm asking you. Sierra, maybe if multiple people are saying the same thing to you, it's because it's true. Mother, no, it, no, it's because he didn't. Because I was calling him out on his bullshit. Sierra, that's what you think. Mother, I know he was. I know what he did to me. All the medications. You know, I was there. I know. Sierra, it did not come from Rick. Mother, thank you, that's good. Sometimes you sound, thank you, that's good. Sometimes you two sound like twins. Sierra, there's a reason for that. Grandma thinks I sound like my dad too. There's a reason. What mother, what do you mean? We were both reacting to her. There's a reason we both said similar things to her. It's because they're true. Mother, you think your dad has treated them fairly? You think he has treated them fairly? Sierra, did I say that? Mother, he's very abusive. He's been very abusive to them. And yet, he still asks them for money. Who do you think's paying for that wedding? Sierra, what's your point? Mother, if you're offended by somebody, why are you asking them for money? I'm not saying you ask, I'm not saying you ask them for money, Sierra. I'm curious how you know who's paying for their wedding. Mother, Grandma told me. She's upset at how much it's going to cost, and she doesn't want to pay. Sierra, well, Grandma's a big girl. She can decide not. She can decide to not pay if she doesn't want to pay. Mother, in a way, there, you know, that's the price of his attention. Sierra, hmm. Well, Grandma could change her approach towards him. Mother, says you. So what do you want from me going forward, Sierra? Sierra, insight. So you see what she's doing, what, what she's doing here. Okay, Sierra, because she waited. She put you, she attacked your dad. She attacked what you're doing. She attacks your motive. Okay, she tries to make it seem like I already know things because grandma's telling me. Okay, and then she'll turn her focus on to you. Well, what do you want from me, Sierra? And all of that is to put you up. Now, if you hadn't been, even though the recording I can't really use, it's good you made it and had it because I think it helped keep your wits about you and kept keep you calm. Okay. Mother, what is the insight you want me to have? Sierra, I can't have insight for you. Mother, the thing is, but you could tell me what's bot but you could tell me what's bothering you. I can't play these riddle games anymore. You know, I just really no mother is perfect, and if you ever become one, you'll find that out in a hurry. Sierra, right. Uh-huh. I'm a professional mother. I'm a mother for a living. I know what being a mother is. See it? Mother, if you say so, oh, the gaslighting, the gaslighting, the condescension. She doesn't want you to lay out the accusation. She wants you to say, she, I mean, she doesn't, she knows what the accusations are. She knows what she does. She just wants you to say it so she can turn it against you and call you crazy.
mother, if you say so. Even Connie, after taking care of kids all her life, when she had a baby, she said, oh my God, Kathy, it's so different when you're the mother. Connie was a perfect mother too. Her kid drove her nuts. How do you like this stuff? Rich, huh? I think she was talking about the food there. The um, Yes, it's poteen. Mother. I mean, honestly, you really have to have your own kid to realize what it's like. I thought I knew a lot before I had kids, and I did. And before people used to call me a natural mother, who are these people? You ever notice so these people, everyone says, people used to tell me. And now she wants to say, you have no opinion on this because you don't have kids. <clears throat> Sorry. And before people used to call me a natural mother and tell me how great I was with kids, sure they did. Then I had my own things to learn. It's different. When DNA is involved, it's different. I'm not trying to take away from your professional skills. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. A lot of people call me mom too, you know. Oh, God. Oh. That is a huge red flag. When people that are not somebody's mother call you mother, that is a huge, huge red flag. Sierra, and that's great. Mother, but there's no way to convince you, Sierra, of what? What are you trying to convince me of? Mother, that I don't have bad intentions and that I'm not a bad person. Sierra, I didn't call you a bad person. Mother, I think you did. I think you did call me a bad person. You know, it's like even the deal with the like when you and Justin had your big falling out. And you told me all the things he did and the things that girl did. Did I say, gee, I don't know. I wasn't there. As if I would question what you were saying. No, I just trusted that you were giving me an accurate account. I would never have thought that you were capable of lying about it or cheating Justin, but Justin thought you were. Otherwise, he would have given you what you asked for if he didn't think you were ridiculous and unfair to him. But I never would have said that to you. You just did. Well, I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. I would never have said that. Um, a, I'm sure she would. B, it's comparing apples and oranges, okay? It's... It, 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 it's not even a comparison if you're talking about professionally dealing with children and CPS, okay, and not being <sighs> absurd. Sierra, it sounds like you know a lot about what he thinks that I do, not that I think, not think that I have told you things I have told you, because that is not what I think, so... Those are conclusions you came to on your own. Mother, honey, you asked him to be fair to you, and instead he let it go to court. Sierra, yes. Mother, so that tells me he didn't think you were right, and that he felt like you didn't really contribute to his business. He took the opposing position. Sierra, that's your perspective. Mother, you don't think he took an opposing position by going to court? Sierra, I think you get tunnel vision and you don't consider other alternatives. Mother, all right, but my point is when someone makes an accusation against me, you know me, so why would you say, I don't know, I wasn't there, as if there's a possibility that I might actually have been stalking a two-year-old? Sierra, because I'm curious why you're seeking validation from me about that. That seems odd. Mother, because your response was a little hurtful. Sierra, hmm. Mother, do you know what gaslighting means? Sierra, I do. Mother, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know what that meant. For years, I really didn't even know what that meant. Now I know that's what Rick was doing to me for years. Sierra, hmm. Mother, he had some kind of weird power over me. 
I don't even know why I accepted it or let it go on for so long. It was really crazy. That's the part, that's the part of the way it evolved was just to undermine me so thoroughly and second guess me all the time until I didn't know if I even had a life or an opinion or a reality. It was all about him. Sierra, seems like a pattern for you. Mother, I know. It's a pattern my mother set up. My mother set it up really well. One thing I had a cognition on recently since I left Rick was that the only time my mother ever showed me any affection was after she hit me. Sierra, I'm sorry for that. Mother, yes, yeah, so am I. She used to hit me and then, aw, oh, are you mad at mommy? Come kiss me and tell me you love me. And Rick did the same thing. Sierra, Rick hit you? Mother, yes, more than once. You don't know who he fucking was. You don't know. I, I know you don't want to believe this. I'm sorry I have to tell you this, but you don't want to know who he is. Sierra, I'm wondering why you're telling me this in a restaurant. Mother, I don't know. Where should I tell you? Sierra, literally anywhere else, or not at all. Honestly, I do not believe it. I just straight up do not believe it. Mother, and that's what I mean. He wasn't what he seemed to be. Let's just put it that way. And I fucking, and I fucking, or, or one of the reasons it propped it up. Sierra, I was there. Mother, okay, you weren't always there. Sierra, uh-huh, I was there enough. Mother, you weren't there enough to understand what Rick, what was between Rick and I. You weren't in bed with us. Oh my God, this is your mother. Sierra, I wasn't in bed with you. Please don't tell me about the things that happened in bed with your husband. She's going to try, though, I bet. Mother, I'm just saying that, Sierra, in a restaurant. Mother, I'm a married mother, Sierra. Mm-hmm. I, I just, I've heard this line about my dad, too. Mother, what? Sierra, this whole story. You have a mental model of how the world works where you're always a victim, and you apply it to any time your relationships doesn't work out, don't work out. And that's really sad for you. I'm sorry for that. Mother, well, it is possible that I let myself get into the same. For instance, I married three times to the youngest son, Sierra. Okay. I married three times for really bad reasons. Sierra, I thought you married my dad to have kids and because you loved him. Mother, to have kids, but, to also, but also because he was about to join the Sea Org. And if we didn't get married right then, he wouldn't be able to marry me because Sea Org people could not marry non-Sea Org people. Sierra, thank you. That's huge. Food arrived, by the way. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mother, yeah, we did. So I shouldn't so I shouldn't say it was for a bad reason because I didn't want to have kids and that was a good thing. But Sierra, yeah. Mother, um, you know, it wasn't a good plan, Sierra. No, it wasn't. Probably not. But it produced me and my brother. Aren't you happy about that? Mother, I was thrilled and so was he. And we were working it out. But we were do but we were doing we had a lot of we had a lot to work out. And we were working it out. And it worked out for a long time until he had his brain injury. Sierra, hmm. Mother, we were on a good, I thought we were on a pretty good. The brain, Sierra, the brain injury was very tragic. Mother, no marriage is ever perfect, ever. And I was, you know, Sierra, you seem kind of fixated on the idea of perfection. Like your only options are perfection or worthlessness. Mother, I thought those were your only options. Sierra, no, you're only projecting that onto me. That's not what I'm saying. Mother, all right. All I'm saying is that the whole deal with your dad, yes, we both wanted to have kids. We were both Scientologists. Oh. <laughs> that seemed at the time to be enough, but it really wasn't. And part of the issue is that I never had a good role model of what was going, what what he even meant to go out and look for or have standards 
of a relationship or what I really wanted or needed. I didn't. I didn't have it with Rick either. Rick just saw it as an opening and slid right in. Sierra, mm-hmm. Mother, thank you. Might need a little more cream on this one. Can you figure out how that opens? So if you don't want to believe me when I tell you, you know, my life, I don't know. What can I say? Laughs. I don't believe you. What, what if I say to you, I don't believe you when you told me something happened? How would that make you feel? I believe when you tell me some, tell me something happened. Sierra, I tell the truth. Mother, I tell the truth too, Sierra. No, you don't if you're a Scientologist. No, you don't. No, you don't. And I think this is really where a lot of this shit is coming from. I tell the truth too, Sierra. Sierra, okay. Mother, though for a long time I did it, I will admit that. For a long time I was hiding stuff. I was afraid to be alone. That's bullshit too, right? Now I'm finding it's not so bad to be alone. Sierra, it's not. I'm glad you're finally you're finding that finally. Mother, why should I get penalized for that? Told that I don't really know what happened. I mean, with your dad. If you don't think that I was somewhat, thank you. I mean, I was victimized by circumstances with your dad when he got sick. I mean, I'm not saying that was his fault. We were all victims of that. But sometimes it seems like everyone gets to claim victimhood except me. Poor, just like a borderline, looking for that victimhood, looking for that victimhood. Sierra, hmm. Mother, I was the victim of that horrible illness just as much as he was. I lost my husband. He might as well have died. I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't, I don't feel that way, by the way. Mother, what? That he might as well have died. Mother, well, if you think he's, as far as our relationship, he was no longer the same person. Do you think he was the same person after? Sierra, I think there were other reasons he, that he left besides the brain injury. Mother, why do you think he left? Sierra, why do you think he left? Why do you th why why do you think I think he left? It's not hard. I know he told you why he left. Mother, he left because he found a new girlfriend on the internet. Sierra, that was the only reason. Mother, I know that he accused me of trying to kill him. Laughs. Sierra, why did he accuse you of that? Mother, because he was nuts. I never tried to kill him. Sierra, how did he say you tried to kill him? Mother, he didn't say I tried. He said that he was afraid I might kill him in his sleep. That's what he used to say. And he had to sleep sometime. Don't you remember him saying that? I have to sleep sometime. There was a lot, you know. He got a job where all he did was sit in the garage all day. Sierra, yeah. Mother, are you sure you want to hear this? Sierra, you seem to want to tell me. Mother, he got a job where all he did was sit in the garage all day and play that game. That's how he got involved with that woman, Barb, from Canada. And I found out through cell phone records, not only Barb, that he was talking to a lot of women from that game. And at the time, I was trying to finish my master's degree, and he, I don't even know if I should tell you. Sierra. I mean 10 minutes ago. The sudden appearance of boundaries is interesting. You can tell me whatever you want or you don't have to. Just understand that I'm thinking about it. Mother. Barb got him involved in BDSM and that's where that and that's what he was doing while I was trying to finish my master's degree. Work. Make sure you guys were taken care of. Do everything at school that I did and deal with him. And then he wanted me to be into that. And all, and I was, and I was like, I don't have time. I don't have time. I'm trying to do this other thing. And pretty soon Barb was living with us. And the other thing led to another. And he found Paige and threw Barb out. Sierra. I thought there was a pretty big gap between when Barb left 
and when Paige showed up. Mother. Oh, I know. Well, Barb left, but she was living in an apartment in Santa Monica, and he was going over there every day and supporting her for a while. Then Barb started calling me and crying about it. It was sick. It was fucked up. All of it. It was just such a mess. I felt like I felt like at the time that he was trying to sabotage finishing my degree. He would not like to pick you guys up when he said he would. He had to go to these parties. He had to do what he had to do. All right. And then he was, that's how I, that's how I am. That's how I met Rick. He took me to a party. Your father took me to a party. That's how I met Rick. And then he felt like Paige was, uh, you know, the answer to his dreams. Sierra, yeah, mother. So he left me for her. I couldn't compete with someone 20 years younger that was drop-dead gorgeous, as he described her. I never saw her. Was she drop-dead gorgeous? Sierra, she was attractive. I didn't like how high-pitched her voice was. Mother, she was very mean to you. I tried to protect you for that. You know, is that a lie, too? Sierra, a lot of people were mean to me during that time. Mother, what? Sierra, a lot of people were mean to me during that time. Mother, including me, Sierra, yes. Mother, what did I do that was so mean? Sierra, what do you think? You know I have a, I know you have a good memory. Mother, dating Rick? I mean, I don't know, Sierra, what did I do? I tried to help you as much as I could. Sierra, I'm really sorry that you lack insight. That's good. Don't give it to her. Don't give it to her. Mother, no, come on, just say it. If I forgot it, just tell me. I don't think that I did anything to hurt you. I can, you can tell me what I did to hurt you, and I can deal with it. Did I hit you? Did I abandon you? Sierra, it's kind of unsettling that you don't remember if you ever hit me. Mother, well, I remember spanking you a couple times when I was mad at you. I remember once when we were up in Seb Seb Sebastopol. Sebastopol around that time. I think it was around 1999 or something. And I said something about that. I was gonna, do you need a spanking? I don't know what I said, but I remember it must have been younger than that because you were 12. You were like nine or 10, but, but I remember that you said something and I said something back. The last time I ever had to spank you, you had a date, blah, blah, blah date. So yeah, I know I spanked you a couple times. I never beat you, I never slapped you, and I would like to know what I did to hurt you during that time, to be mean to you. <clears throat> Sierra, I'm sorry you don't know. Mother, honey, I would like you to tell me. Oh, this weather. I'm not getting into it. I will tell your therapist if she ever calls me. We can set up another appointment. Mother, did it involve Rick? Sierra, why do you keep bringing Rick into this? Mother, because Rick is very... Sierra, I like Rick. Mother, I know a lot of people. I liked him too at first. But you have to realize, you know, that, well, whatever. He's your stepfather. You can like him all you want. Sierra, I intend to. Mother, he got a good deal from me. I'd say, two cars, an education, and hey, a free place to live. Why not? Sierra, he didn't contribute. I recall him contributing. The last few years, very little. Like, I think we started out at a 600, at, out at 600 a month for everything. By the time he left, he was giving me either 1,300 or 1,500 a month. Sierra, sounds like it wasn't a free place then. Sierra, it wasn't. I mean, mother, it wasn't. It was free in terms of what he could have brought with that money otherwise. Sierra, I can't wrap my head around whatever logic that was. Mother, I'm just saying it wasn't half. It wasn't anywhere near half. Sierra, usually in relationships, you don't have a 50-50 financial contribution, especially when kids are involved. It doesn't mean he was just mooching. Mother, huh? It doesn't mean he was just mooching. Mother again, 
He wasn't totally 100% mooching, but he was getting more than his share. See, that's what the narc does. That's what the narc borderline does. Everything is weighted. Everything is scaled. Everything is, you haven't done enough for me. It's all this, that. It's all a fucking pie chart. Well, let's run the fucking love numbers. Let's run the numbers and see where they fall. Fuck that. Now I know what you're talking about. Now I, now I understand, Sierra, why you were excited after I did the borderlines. After I did the borderline, because congratulations, I didn't even realize it. You made you made at part four, because I'm telling you what's going on here. What happened here, Sierra? Your mother got into this borderline personality awareness thing somewhere, where she's going to try. The next step is she's going to be the next victim. She knows what gaslighting is and projection is. She's in this world somewhere. She's in this world somewhere. I wouldn't even be surprised if she's on my channel already because some of this sounds... Okay. Mother. It wasn't totally 100% mooching, but he was getting more than his share. Sierra, you're really fixated on tit for tat. Mother. It wasn't... It wasn't. At that time, it was like... And I... And when I got a PhD, I'm going to get this great job and I'm going to take care of you. Then he got a PhD and he said, oh, I got to do a postdoc for two years. Then I got to do another postdoc for a year. Then in the middle of that third year of postdoc is when he said to me, you know, I wish I had chosen a different major. I really don't want to be a researcher. I want to be a teacher. Well, he had no background in being a teacher. Sierra, except all of his teaching experience. Mother, no, he had only TA'd. He only actually taught two classes. That's what they look at. He sent out 100 freaking resumes, and I think he got four interviews. And most of them weren't even for teaching. So the thing that thing he got up in Oregon was just a fluke. He emailed the director of the department and said, I can teach an extra class, and, and do you have any openings? It was luck, and it was amazing. Sierra, hmm. Mother, but he will never get a tenure track position. He doesn't. And he'll tell you that. He's not competitive. Sierra, I'm sorry things didn't work out. Mother, so am I. Sierra, the best laid plans of mice and men, as you know. Things don't always work out the way you think they will. Mother, that's right. And I mean, you learned that with Justin, right? Sierra, we never really had plans. I had hopes, but we didn't have plans. Mother, well, we had plans, laugh. And I feel like um, the typical stupid woman who put her man through college, and then he turns around and says, oh, okay, see ya. Sierra, you bear no fault for the relationship falling apart. No responsibility. You did nothing to contribute to that. Mother, there were things, well, I'll say this, well, I'll say to myself now is, when I see things that I wrote in my journal all along, even starting from the first year, there should have been red flags for me. And I should have, this woman's on Narcissism Channel, Sierra. For whatever reason, I was really, really good at duping myself because I saw it, I was writing about it. Sierra. Your mistake was trusting too much. Mother, I didn't say that. Sierra, that's the only thing you did wrong in this situation. Mother, my mistake was putting my needs below someone else's. Putting, putting because of this, it was never. I know you're thinking about Michael, but, Nike, but Michael is way too late on the chain. Sierra, I wasn't actually, but that is relevant. Mother, well, what happened with Michael was way late on the chain after a lot of shit had gone down. And after, and I had never lied to Rick about that. I had never lied to Rick about that. I didn't want, I didn't hide what I was doing. He was 100% on board until, well, then, you know. And then we made up and we stayed together. So it happens. For whatever reason, I decided to stay with Rick. So I don't know. I sold my house. I moved to Oregon. I think that was enough for showing him that I was committed. 
And then, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff I just can't talk about that would be, like you said, you don't want to hear. So, yeah, I disappointed him for sure. Funny how she wanted to tell you about the bad shit Rick was doing in bed. But now she now now she wants a boundary for the shit that she was doing wrong. Because now you don't, but it's your fault because you didn't want to hear it, Sierra. Sierra, that's the only thing. Mother, the only thing I did to Rick? Sierra, yes. The only way that you contributed to that relationship falling apart. Mother, you know, after about 2006, it wasn't really a real relationship. It was. It was wait until I graduate and then go move somewhere together alone. And you don't have to worry about the kids. And you'll be out of the house. And everything will be hunk hunky dory. Sierra, and then it wasn't. Mother, hmm? Sierra, and then it wasn't. Mother, Rick has a lot of problems. Let me just put it this way. Sierra, he's not the only one. Mother, all right, I have problems. And now I'm working on it. Sierra, in what ways do you think you need to grow and change? Mother, grow and change? Change? Well, it's funny. I got one kid that tells me I don't need to change at all. And he loves me just the way I am. And I got another that thinks I'm a piece of shit. So it's funny. I don't know. Because you designed it that way. Golden child, scapegoat. Sierra, a scapegoat and a golden child. <laughs> Mother, no, bread isn't a golden child. That kid is. Sierra, why is that question so hard for you? Mother, to grow and change. Well, I want to be able to totally support myself, but i pretty much always done that. Sierra, that's not growth and change. Mother, but I want to do it independently. I want to create. I'm not sure at this point if I want another partner. I think I would like to have a partner, but not necessarily. Not necessarily one that I'm living with all the time. Sierra, right. That's how you, that's how you want your, your life to change. How do you want yourself? What about yourself needs to grow and change? Silence. Sierra, again, that's the problem. You can't answer that question. You're perfect. Mother, I'd like to be. No, I don't think I'm perfect. Oh, God, that it is. I'd like to be. I am perfect. And then they realize how fucking bad that sounds. And then they'll back off it. No, I don't think I'm perfect. I'd like to be better at decision making. I'd like to be more, um, well, I'd like to be physically stronger. I'd like to stay in shape and even go further and be really physically active. I'd like to learn to be less emotionally impacted by people around me. And it's like my therapist says, I need to learn to compartmentalize. Sierra, that would probably help. Mother, and stop churning the past, which I tend to do, but that's partly a function of being a writer. You kind of go, go over things in your head and you look at and you look at. One thing I realized recently is that I have a real true and deep confusion sometimes between fact, between my life as my life and my life as a story of my life. And sometimes I actually, I think, I do things sometimes just to see what will happen. And I think a, that was a lot of what's going on when I first got involved with Rick. Wow, is that narcissism borderline to a T? She's admitting she's just doing these things to see they will happen, manipulate. Wow. This woman is definitely involved somewhere on the narcissism, understanding the narcissism te te uh, terminology and how it works. She's one of these people who will take the next step and be on one of those borderline, oh, I'm a borderline and I'm a victim now. No, 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 no. Sierra, hmm. Mother. I never, at that point in my life, what should I have done? I see now is really going through that divorce without getting involved with anyone else, with anybody else. Because that was really in the long run. That was not good for me. Because in the long run, I switched all my neediness and my need to be told what to do. That's what Rick zeroed in on. 
one of the first things he ever said to me was that he knows how to find a person's weak point, then manipulate them with it. And that's just what he did. He was very good at that. And so I had to, I, I had been smarter at that time. And so if I had been smarter at that time or more loving of myself, I would have gone through that whole divorce process. I might have even got back with your dad, you know. Sierra, mm hmm Mother, because I let Rick in so early, that's sort of closed down. That's one reason why your dad never wanted to talk to me again, because he was so pissed that Rick got in there like that. Even though the first time I ever met Rick, Greg took him aside and said, blah, 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 you can have her, I don't want her. So he basically handed me over. Sierra, so you think you would have gotten back with Papa? Mother, well, mother, there was a point at which Kerry Welch had called me and she thought that I guess Grandpa was talking to her and talking to Papa and she wanted to know if I was interested in reconciliation and that really happened. That was about a year into it. Sierra, that's like four degrees away from actually. Anyway, Mother, I felt like he was, re it would, that was him reaching out. Maybe it was all bullshit, I don't know. What did you get on that? What did you, what did you get on that? Is that chicken? Mother, yeah. Sierra, yep. Yeah. Mother, that was looking like shrimp. Sierra, it looks like shrimp because it's pink. Mother, we should take that home. Sierra, hmm. Mother, the smart thing would have been for me too because a lot of the grieving that I'm going through now, it isn't about Rick, it's about your dad. And the way that I tumbled from your dad into Rick's arms, and for Rick, for whatever reason, he was there, and I let him be there. Sierra, mm-hmm, mother. But um, you should have finished out and processed that whole marriage and gotten healthy at that point, and I didn't. I just, Rick, it's like, here's your dad, and here's Rick. It's like he just slipped in. I do think he saw an opportunity and took it. I don't think he ever loved me. I don't think he ever loved, I don't think he ever loved me. I think he's a narcissist. I can have your opinion. You can have your opinion and I can have mine. I lived with him for 16 years. Sierra, I lived with him for a number of years too. Mother, I know, but I just had a run. I don't know. There was really no reason for me to get that locked in with Rick at that point. I was just weak. I was weak and I didn't know how because I have never had a role model of a good relationship. I didn't even know how you do it. I never really had a good role model of how you go out and get a career. You know, you had your grandparents. You're lucky. Sierra. Mm -hmm. Mother again. So, you know, that's what I feel like happened. So I'm still, still 30 some years. I've been married 37 of the last 39 years, so I don't even know how to be single. I don't even know how to be on the... Sierra, it's not hard as you're discovering. Mother, I know and I'm enjoying it, but the thing is, Sierra, I don't know why you're seeking a pity party about that. Mother, I'm not seeking a pity party about being single. Sierra, yeah. Mother, no, I'm working on the process of figuring out why. Why I was so vulnerable. I was vulnerable and I wish someone had taken me. And in fact, some of my old friends did. I remember Mel. She said that, she said he's a very handsome man and he seems very nice. But protect your assets. Which, thank God, I didn't, did take that advice. And you know, Carol thought the sun rose and set on Rick. Sierra, Carol has some issues, as you know. Mother, of course she does. Who doesn't? Shanaz never liked him. Sierra, Shanaz also has some issues. Mother, name me a person who doesn't have issues. Sierra, the difference is some people are actually working on them, and some people are not. And what's different about your mother, your mother's trying to take her issues and then use them against everybody. Mother, honey, I'm working on them right now. Coming out here and not jumping into a relationship with Richard, that, that was a huge step for me because that was available. 
I could have moved moved fucking right in his house. And I said, that's really not what I want or need right now. I need to be alone. Sierra, well, good for you. Mother, yeah, it has been good. It's been amazing. And even though everybody tried to talk me out of it, that I know, including your grandmother, Sierra, why did she try to talk you out of it? Oh, I'm sorry. What did she try to talk you out of? Uh, mother, coming here, coming out here. She said it was stupid to come out here in the winter. She didn't understand that I really needed the winter. And I loved it. And most of it, honey, I spent alone. And it's been wonderful. And I plan to live another 20 to 30 years, so I have some time to, um, but I don't know. When you say, how do you want to change and grow? I would like to be more of a role model to you, which I apparently never was. Oh, good luck. Sierra, hmm. Mother, or to Brett. I mean, I stayed home because I thought that was the best thing. Mother again, but if I had to do it all over again, I don't know what I would do. Why did you why did your dad tell you that he left me? What does he think? He doesn't understand what he was doing? Sierra, what do you think he told me? Mother, that I was a horrible person. There it is. Sierra, because, mother, because I didn't love him. Sierra, not because of anything you did. Mother, anything I did. I would say we were both doing a lot of things during that last year. But a lot of it, he led me into the whole, let's have affairs, let's have other people in our lives. That's where he went, and I kind of let him go there. And I kind of followed with him because I honestly, I really wanted to finish my degree. You have no idea what it's like trying to finish a master's degree with, with someone actively trying to undermine you. Sierra, I don't. Mother, maybe you do, maybe you do. I mean... Was Justin doing it? Was Justin doing that to you to some extent? I thought, Sierra, it's weird that you said that then. Mother, well, okay. You do know, but you weren't married to him and you didn't have kids. What does that difference does that make? Sierra, that's true. Mother, I honestly feel at times I should have never forgotten. I, I should have never gotten the master's degree because I feel like that kind of, I put my attention on that, and that was enough to really screw up our family. And maybe it was selfish of me to do it. Sierra, that's the only thing you did? Mother, what do you mean? Sierra, that's the only thing you did to contribute to our family falling apart was get a master's degree in your mind? That's how it worked? Mother, no, honey. I think I was emotionally. I don't think I got the help I needed after your father's illness. Hmm. Sierra, hmm, other people failed you. Mother, no, I think I didn't. Everything was about that period of time. From the time he got sick until the time he left was pretty amazingly difficult. Sierra, hmm, mother, I should have been in counseling. Sierra, and you did nothing to contribute to the difficulty. Mother, I didn't understand. I didn't know how. He wasn't himself anymore. He was no longer Greg. Sierra, but you didn't do anything that you regret during those seven years besides allow him to have affairs, trust him too much, and not get counseling. Those were things you did. Mother, I feel like you're getting at something, but I don't know what. Sierra, hmm. Mother, are you implying I was having an affair? Sierra, I am not. Mother, no, okay, so that's not it. I don't know. Sierra, it's a big mystery. Mother, all the time that, all I feel at the time that was going on, honey, was a struggle. I was dealing with you and all of your adventures. I was dealing with your, your brother, Sierra. It's my fault. Mother, and your dad kept losing jobs. I don't know if you're aware of that. Sierra, I was there. Mother. I worked all the time as much as I could. Sierra, do you think Michaela and Sebastian are there yet? Mother, probably, but I mean like, what do you want me to say, honey? What do you think I did? Sierra, no insight. Mother, 
I could have been more of a saint. You're right. I could have been more of a, I look back at it and I think, what could I have done more to help Greg? I don't know. I tried to get him all the stuff he needed. Remember, he went on that sleep study and told me he, he didn't need the crap when he actually did. I don't know. I didn't know that. Sierra, okay, let's head over. What do you think? And transcript. Wow. Well, that is definitely a great final uh, conversation. I will warn you this, Sierra. Your mother is in tune to, narc to, um, to narcissistic terms and narcissistic technology uh, terminology. It is only a matter of time before she becomes one of these borderlines, and I think you know that on, on that video. It's only a matter of time before she becomes one of those and uses the whole condition to her advantage. You got to remember. You got to remember. Okay? I don't even know. God, it's not even a matter that you got to remember. I've never. These terms, narcissist, borderline personality disorder, histrionic disorder, personality disorder, they aren't for them. They're for us. They're for us to be able to put a name to them in what they're doing because the because the narcissist the borderline they don't admit it we've been trying to get them to admit to this shit for years and they deny 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 you're crazy you're crazy you're crazy you're crazy until they start getting to a point where your mother's at old out of options running out of people to fuck with now it seems like she's throwing out terms like gaslighting narcissism victimization this is the next step again. This is the narcissist taking another step, another step, another step. Okay? You're right for the no contact. You handled this beautifully. I wish the audio had come out loud and clear. Um, but I think this worked well, too. So, sorry my voice got a little raspy. Um, but thank you so much, Sierra. I really appreciate it. And thank you for the contribution. Thank you for the story. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, or you'd like to set up a Skype, PayPal, or have a private video made, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links at in the description box. I'll have the video right back to you. And if you're still unclear, wait for the video link to pop up at the end of this video. It's the instructional video on how to do all that. Also remember to like like this video, share it when you can, and subscribe to the channel, and also click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. This is Ollie Matthews. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Bye.